Insulin resistance really comes down to, in my opinion, three things. The first one being your microbiome, how diverse your microbiome is and how many of the certain beneficial bacteria that are in there are supporting your insulin levels and the digestion of sugar. Number two is actually the state of your gallbladder. If your gallbladder and your liver are really congested, oftentimes you won't be able to process fat properly, meaning that you won't get all the benefits of pairing a fat with a sugar to be able to keep an even keeled blood sugar. I'm learning more and more that people who have really congested gallbladders are going to naturally be more insulin resistant because it simply comes down to how they're digesting the fat. And number three is basic lifestyle things. So like eating late at night, not getting morning sunlight in your eyes, lack of movement, those sort of things. There's probably a laundry list of things that I could give you, but basic lifestyle factors that keep your insulin levels in check. It's not rocket science. I don't think everybody needs to be wearing a glucose monitor, but sometimes it is helpful for us to see what foods actually are spiking our blood sugar to understand what our body needs further. And truthfully, if you start on the basis of healing and repairing the microbiome and replenishing the microbiome from all the damage that it's gotten from our modern world, you're going to be in a really good place. I did a full video on one of the microbes that's being studied that's related to insulin resistance. They are finding that people who are low in acromancia are tending to be more insulin resistant. This is actually something you can just purchase over the counter. If you're interested, you can go and check out that video on my YouTube channel. I know it's a hot topic out there right now. I know everybody's wanting to moderate their diet to be flawless, maybe entirely protein, maybe maybe entirely keto to keep your insulin in check. And I'm not against those things, but oftentimes when we get the microbiomes set in check, we don't have as many of these issues going. Our bodies are naturally more able to cope with sugar being in the diet or carbs. If you're interested in learning how to rebalance your microbiome with a gut first, food first approach, you can comment the word masterclass and I'll send you my free food is medicine masterclass that teaches you the exact top three foods to introduce in order to really repair your gut and actually get some of the acromancia into you in a healthy and sustainable way or feed the acromancia for that matter.